So it has been a while since I have made a hamster video and I really, really just wanted to make one. So I want to make a video on which hamster is right for you if you are thinking about getting a hamster. So the thing about hamsters overall, it doesn't matter which species of hamster you get, you will have to clean their cages, you will have to change water, you will have to feed them, and you will have to buy them toys, you will have to buy them appropriate wheels, and you really should get the size cage requirements that they need. So hamsters are a living animal and should be treated as a living animal, and they deserve to have the best quality of life we as humans are able to give them. So if you do not have enough money to purchase the size cage that is required for your hamster, then you should not buy that animal. That is, you're thinking about yourself before you think of the animal. So there are five different kinds of domesticated hamsters. There's the Syrian hamster, there's the Campbell dwarf hamster, there's the winter white dwarf hamster, the Rubberovsky dwarf hamster, and the Chinese hamster. Those are the five different kinds of hamsters you can choose at a pet store. The hamsters that I have are Syrian hamsters, and they are the biggest of all of the hamsters. So if you're looking for something to easily handle, they do handle easily and they are easier than all the other hamsters to handle because they are the biggest. They get to be around 7 inches in length. Einstein's around 6. I did make a video about Syrian Hamster Basics so I won't go into Syrian Hamster Basics. You guys can go check that video out if you are looking to purchase a Syrian Hamster. Um, I will talk about, in my opinion, whether to get a male or a female hamster. So. The one thing you will have to deal with with all female hamsters is that they do go into heat. Um, that is when they reproduce. So they do give off pheromones and pheromones, if you guys do not know, it's just when they release their scent into the air and they just attract mates. They're really stinky. It makes them very, very, very stinky. So. Be prepared if you get a female hamster, they are going to be stinky. Like right now, Crystal is in heat and she is very stinky and I do not pick her up when she's in heat. Mistake. It gets like, there's like this weird stuff that gets all over your hands and it's nasty. Female Syrian hamsters do go into heat every four days. So that is something you will also need to think about. Do I want a female or do I want a male? Males are a lot fuzzier if you're looking for Syrian hamsters. They do get longer hair. I will show you the video of Einstein right now. See, they do get longer hair. They um, aren't stinky. They are usually calmer than female hamsters. This is just in my opinion, because I have both. They're just more laid back than female hamsters are. Uh, what I've noticed with Crystal, she's very, very, like, I am queen of the hill. She's very, she's a very, so cute. Dwarf hamsters. So the whole thing about dwarf hamsters, they are absolutely small. They are around this big and they, didn't, they do not get any bigger than two to four inches, depending on which species of dwarf hamster you get. So let's start with the Campbell's dwarf hamster. They can live in um, groups. I probably prefer pairs because for every hamster you have, you should have at least a cubic foot for each hamster. Um, they are also a lot harder to handle just because of their size and their agility. Campbell's Dwarf Hamsters live around two years. You are investing time into this animal. It will live for two years. So if you are moving out of the country in a year and you can't bring a hamster with you, I would not recommend buying a hamster just because all of them live for about one to one, like one and a half to two years at least. That is the least amount a hamster should live. So the one thing about Campbell's Dwarf Hamsters, they do wake up during the day. 
sometimes more than Syrian hamsters do. Syrians do not wake up most of the time. Syrian hamsters sleep the whole day. Dwarf hamsters do get up during the day and move around for a little bit, but they do go back to bed. All hamsters are nocturnal. Dwarf winter white hamsters are very similar, similar to Campbell's dwarf hamsters in the sense of they are very small. They are more difficult to handle than Syrian hamsters just because of their size and they also can be kept in pairs. For all dwarf hamsters, you really want to invest in aquarium cages because less chance of them escaping. The size for a winter white cage is minimum of 360 square inches for one hamster alone. So if you have two hamsters, you need 720 square inches. So that's a lot of room. You really have to think about how much room how much time and it's not something you can just sit on a shelf and watch it's something you really have to take care of and you have to change its water feed it play with it get all the things it needs make sure it has a quality of life the next species of hamster is the rubberovsky hamster dwarf hamster and it can be kept in pairs all of dwarf hamsters that can be kept together should be introduced at a young age just so they're bonded together. They're the best behaved of the dwarf hamsters, but they are extremely, extremely tiny. They only get to be about one to two inches long and that is full of grown. So they're extremely, extremely tiny. They are more for observation than for picking up and holding in your hands. This is like the longest lifespan of um, all of the hamsters. They live to be about three to three and a half years. So you really have to think again, I'm going to have this hamster and this is just like average amount. So your hamster could live to four to four and a half years or even older than that. They do live the longest out of the um, five hamsters. Chinese hamsters, they are not social hamsters. Some people have been able to keep them together but it's just not what they want. They are aggressive in the wild and they just don't like being kept together. They are most active at night though. Again, all hamsters do come out during the day. At some point, at some time, they will come out during the day and you'll be like, oh, you're out. Why? They look more of a mouse than a hamster. All hamsters have tails, but their tail is really long compared to a Syrian or any other dwarf hamsters. Um, they look like a mouse more than a hamster. So they live about one and a half to two years and their um, cage requirements are two square feet. So again, size is key. So when you're thinking about getting a hamster, really you should think about, okay, what do I want out of a hamster. If you're looking for something cute and fluffy that you want to hold, I would go for a Syrian hamster. If you're more into like cute tiny things, but I don't really want to handle them very much, um, I would go with the dwarf hamsters. I'm not saying you can't, you know, play with them a little bit, but it's going to be more difficult to pick them up and play with them considering they can jump out of your hand more easily than Syrians can. And if you want something that's different, I would go for the Chinese hamster. They are the most different out of all the five hamster species that are domesticated. So really think about which kind of species you want to get and um, just remember to really research what you need for each hamster. Syrian hamsters need huge things and they need tons of space but so do these little hamsters. Just because they're smaller doesn't mean they like smaller spaces. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was insightful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know I enjoyed making it. If you guys have any questions about hamsters or anything like that, just comment below and I will try to answer you back within a reasonable amount of time. Please put a thumbs up. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, peace, and love.